What's the difference between WordPress.org and WordPress.com? WordPress.org is the self-hosted, independent, open source version of the WordPress CMS. It's free to install on your preferred web host. The biggest benefit is the total freedom to do what you want. Outside of your hosting provider, you are not bound by anything. The absolute freedom is the hallmark of WordPress and was one of the reasons it was created and released as open source software. You can use any theme, any plugin, and do any kind of development that you want on your site. Additionally, you can run any ads, use any sort of monetization, enable a paywall, and sell any kind of products in your WooCommerce store. Only the terms of use for the ad networks and services you choose will limit what you can and can't do. As with anything, there are downsides, the most prominent of which is freedom. The freedom that I was just saying is a pro. By being fully in control of your site, you are also fully in control of maintenance, purchase of themes and plugins, additional development, and any hosting issues that might come up. WordPress.org is for anyone who wants a website and everything that comes with it. With full freedom and ownership of your site, design, and content, there's really no reason not to give it a shot. WordPress.com is a free website service, not a free website software. You don't have to download anything or install it. You sign up for an account and create a site that is hosted by WordPress.com. You will be given a choice of templates and suggested plugins and a WordPress.com URL. You don't have to find a host because WordPress.com is your host. They give you three gigabytes before requiring you to pay for a plan. If you're looking for a 100% free site that you can get started from nothing in essentially moments, you can do that here. No hosting costs, no domain registration, just sign up and go. They also handle backups and maintenance and upgrades for you, meaning that you won't have to worry about your site getting security holes. The limitations that come with a WordPress.com site tend to be the main things that drive people away from the platform. Because .com is a platform and not just a software, the company that runs it is out to make a profit. So like any free service on the internet, you only get the most basic elements for free. If you want a custom URL, you have to pay extra. To use any theme you want, from their approved list, you have to pay extra. Same for plugins, and if you want to run an e-commerce site, yeah, you need to upgrade your plan. You see the pattern here? Plan prices range from $7 per month to $59 per month with discounts if you pay annually. WordPress.com also shows ads on your site, and it doesn't pay you for them, at least if you're a free member. The saying of, if you're not paying for a product, you are the product, holds very true right here. Automatic definitely profits off of your use of their service, whether you pay for it or not. And you can't use external services such as Google Analytics or Google AdSense, but you can apply for their proprietary ad system and use Jetpack stats. Unless, of course, you upgrade to a higher plan. And finally, you are bound by the WordPress.com, EULA, and TOS, which means that they have the right to do with your site what they want. While you own the content there, they may choose to use it in advertising. And if they decide your content violates their terms, they can take your site offline without your consent. Overall, our verdict is that WordPress.org is by far the superior product. While you do have a little bit more to handle on your end as a site owner, the freedom you get is amazing. WordPress.com is an absolutely solid platform. If you decide to host your website through their service, it will be stable, easy to use, and have very little trouble. But if you want anything else, it will cost you. In the end, whether you go with WordPress.com or WordPress.org, you still get to use WordPress. And that is a win, no matter which side you're on. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.